Hi girls, uh, you were asking what is a watercolor uh, from Sonnet that we've got now uh, in our shop. So this is the paint and it comes in little um, cubes like that. So you add a little bit of water to it. I use my uh, paper palette from Magnetic. I use a lot of water on my paper palette. So I have, for example, a little bit of blue here. And then I have a little bit of black right here, mix them together so I get that color. What you can also do, you can take a little bit of, let's say, red and mix that together. So it's very easy to mix it as long as you have water. And the best thing is when this dries, you can always use a little bit more uh, water and just use it again because it's water paint. It dries and when you add water, you can use it again. So this is the little brush, what we've got, the size zero, 00 and my tip is prepared and buffed very fine. So I'm trying to make a little butterfly. Okay, I will try to return my hand so we can see what I'm doing. It's my first time using my iPad for videos. No, and nice. So when you see, I hold my brush very, very vertical. So this will be my black butterfly and It's a uh, kind of bluey butterfly, bluey purple. So when my clients ask me to paint a butterfly, it usually takes me not so long because the uh, nail is much smaller so the butterfly would be also less detailed. This is kind of nice butterfly. When this dries a little bit you can use oops, sorry you can use different colors. So for example I would use here a little bit of yellow and again add a little bit more water. Then you can Feel it out. You can also use the bigger brush for that. So what I would use now size number two. So you turn it to make it very pointy. And then just fill the gaps here. And the best thing in the watercolor is that you can really easily go from color to color and blend them in each other. And it is something we are always showing in our classes and also uh, online class from Alexander Stepanov will show you. Um, easily how to blend the colors in each other. So there are different techniques you might use, may use.
So you can use very, very rich colors, or as you can see here, very, very light color from the same paint. And you can easily blend it in each other, which is what I like in, uh, with this paint. And as you can see, the best thing is, if you don't like the line, you just add a little bit of water and over paint it or remove that line if you don't like it. But it's also, if you have perfect line, you can also damage your paint, right? So, so this is easy, easy blending of the colors. Then we can also use something blue. Again, if you add a little bit less water, then you have very rich color. If you have more water, then you have very light color. So right now I make it very light. Even dry the brush a little bit. Like that. And then I take more color. And go in here. This is the butterfly to show you some techniques to explain you the paint so it's not really very nice butterfly on the colors. Just playing around a little bit. I also love red. And you see I use very large brush for that. So it's not necessary to use the large brush, but you can, if you also like large brushes. Because this brush holds a lot of paint and this brush holds a lot of water. So you can leave the rich color like that. Or you can wash it out. So again, you can have it very rich. Or you can wash it out. So now I go back to my contours. Make my brush pointy and oops. So I just go over my contour again to highlight it. Is my miracle butterfly. And then I go again in different colors. 
for example, in green. Wash it out a little bit. And I go in a bit of red. You see, I just add a little bit of water. My paint is alive again. So I can add a little bit of red. Oh, I just mix red and yellow and get orange. So this paint is very, very easy to mix. So if you want to learn more of this technique, you're more than welcome to um, attend our online classes with Alexander Stepanov. Very soon we will offer one. It is at nadiabeauty.com, N-A-D-J-A-Beauty.com. Very soon we will have an watercolor paint uh, class and now I have the supplies for this class so that's why I hope you get the, an idea of watercolor from here and if you want to learn more attend my classes here in Canada or Alexander's classes online thank you for watching